You've got your Macintosh and you're ready to upgrade to Yosemite. Now, it is possible that when you bought your computer, it was such a recent purchase that Yosemite was already loaded on it, which is fine. You don't have anything to do but start playing around with the operating system. But let's talk about loading or updating. Now, to me, the process can be, well, I make it very methodical, let me put it that way, because I don't like these kind of surprises. I want everything to go the way I want it to go. Now, birthdays surprise me on my birthday, I guess, but no surprises here. So my first step would be to set up an Apple ID. Now, that may or may not sound important, but it is because you're going to be using your Apple ID a lot when you work in the operating system especially if you get into iTunes and the iBookstore, because you can't even download free stuff without an Apple ID. So let me show you how you get one. I'm in Safari, and that's the native browser for the Apple system. But you can be in any browser you want, because we're going to appleid.apple.com. Now you've got two choices, manage or create. Let's look at both. If we say create, you're basically filling out a form. That's all you're doing. Your name your address. Now, your Apple ID does need to be an existing email address. It can be any one, but I would suggest it's one you think you're going to keep for a while. Give yourself a good password, confirm it, and do your security questions, fill out the form. That's all you're doing. You're just filling out the form. It's free. Now, if you already have one, which I do, I can manage it right up here. And you might have one also. If you already have one, this part isn't necessary. Just remember your sign-in which is an email address and your password. Now, once you do this, it will ask you for the first time. Do you want to save the password? Never. Not now, but maybe next time or save. I'm going to say not now. If you've got one, that's fine. You don't have to do anything in here to get it ready to go to Yosemite. But because to me, there is an order on how you do things, and having an Apple ID can actually make the process go more efficiently for you, my suggestion would be, if you don't have one, get one. That's it. Let me go ahead and get out of here with a quit. And let us move on. Installation is coming up.